Today I've got this full suspension electric bike with an 80 mile range. All right guys, so this is the Magicycle Deer electric bike. It is full suspension. So as you may remember, I reviewed this, the Magicycle Cruiser. This was probably about a year ago now. And I've ridden this a lot. So this, I already have 330 miles on it. So I do ride it a lot, mostly on the roads, but also a little bit off-road on some dirt roads as well. Front suspension, but obviously no rear suspension, so it does get a little bit rough when you're off-road. It has the big fat tires, which help. It has been very reliable. Uh, I haven't really had any issues with it at all. I got one flat tire in the past year, uh, changed that out, just had to get the right tube for it. But otherwise, really no complaints with this bike. But when I saw they did come out with a full suspension version, I thought I really wanted to try that out because I do have a lot of off-road trails as you've seen in my other videos. I thought that would be really nice for some of those dirt roads as well. So now this new bike is a little bit more expensive. It's right around $2,500 where the Cruiser is around $1,500. So what do you get for all that? You obviously get rear suspension. It is a totally redesigned frame. It does look really nice and sturdy. I mean, it's some nice welds here, aluminum frame. The battery is much more integrated into the frame here, kind of shoves in from the bottom. Other key differences, it does have a larger battery. So it's a 20 amp hour battery compared to a 15 amp hour battery. So they claim you get about 50 to 55 miles on this one. And this one now they say about 80 mile range. So obviously that completely depends on how much you're pedaling. If you're using the pedal assist, if you're just using the twist throttle, but in my experience, I do think I get at least 40 miles on this one. I think they're pretty accurate with what they claim. The other big difference is I did get the version that, I think they call it the Touring version, that it comes with this rack and the fenders on the wheels. I do think it looks a little bit better without all that. I'll show a picture of it. I think that's really nice to have if you're going on a, any type of long trips. You can put a compartment back here that you can attach to this. So that is a lot larger, you can see than the one that came on the Cruiser. Also, they up the uh, capacity to 400 pounds for this bike versus 350 for the Cruiser. So it's just a little bit more sturdy. Everything's a little bit more beefy. Also a big difference in quality on this one, it does have hydraulic brakes compared to cable brakes. So these are disc, but they're cable driven. This one actually has hydraulics. So we'll see how those feel, but just initially just feeling the levers, it feels so much nicer than the cable and it's also a lot easier to pull. So this one will have the same seven level pedal assist that the Cruiser has and we'll go through that quickly once we get it all put together. That does work really well. Uh, you can kind of control how much the bike is helping you when you're riding it. So now we're gonna quickly get this thing put together. We pretty much just need to put the front wheel on, attach the handlebars, uh, put the pedals on, a few little things and then we'll be ready to test it out. All right guys, we got it all put together here. It's looking pretty solid. Just comparing the two, you can see definitely that the battery and the controller is all integrated here on the Cruiser. I think this is the controller sits down here. Kind of a risky spot for it. So everything is protected here. I think this kind of has like a little bit of a brush guard here uh, to protect where the battery and everything go inside. And then otherwise it's totally closed on the top. And then as far as the handlebars, very similar. The grips look the same. Twist throttle, I think is pretty much the same. The shifter, got a Shimano seven speed shifter. I think the screen is the same. We'll power that up in a second. The pedal assist and power button control looks the same. Uh, just the difference here with the hydraulic brakes. Um, this is much harder to pull. These are much harder to pull compared to the hydraulics and they feel really good. And then obviously the big difference here is that the frame is like two part construction because you have the rear suspension hidden here kind of inside this uh, triangle. So to power it on, you just hit this, uh, the power button here on the top of the remote. This display looks exactly like the other one. To change the level of pedal assist, it's here. You go minus, that zero won't do anything when you're pedaling. And then it basically goes one through seven. 
And what that's doing on level one, it will help you with the motor as you're pedaling. It will help you up to 10 miles an hour. So once you go up to over 10 miles an hour, it won't help you anymore. It'll be all you. And you can kind of keep track of what's happening by this dial here. Because as that increases, it'll go the whole way up to 900 watts. It's helping you more and more. The nice thing about the pedal assist on this bike is that it's not an on off. If I'm going like five miles an hour, it'll probably be up at like 900 watts. They're really helping you. But then if you're at like eight miles an hour, nine miles an hour, it'll start to creep back. It'll only help you a little bit, which I think is really nice. It's not just a pure off and on. You can be riding along. And then usually like as I go up hills, it'll be helping me a little bit more. As I'm going down a hill, it'll be at zero. If I'm riding flat, maybe it'll just, just be helping me a little bit. And then you can completely control that by the level that you select here. So if you wanna be riding around 15 miles an hour, I think that's about a level three. So the whole way up to level seven, where it's helping you pretty much the whole way up to like 25, 28 miles an hour, which even in seventh gear here, it's uh, pretty hard to even keep up with that. So I'll just take it for a quick spin, make sure it, uh, it feels pretty normal. Like I said, I'm pretty used to this setup because of the other one, but now we have rear suspension. So start on level one. Oh, there it is, kicked in. Yeah, level one's only like five miles an hour on this one. I, th I feel like the other one's like 10. I'll go up to level three. Oh man. Yeah, it's feeling really smooth. And that's the nicest thing going up hills. That's the that's the best part of an electric bike, helps you go up the hills. Because <laughs> on a regular bike, it's a pain in the butt to go up hills. And so far, the rear suspension feels good. It's less, a lot less hard on your butt when you're sitting down. Now I'm starting gear one, pedal assist level four. That's pretty good. Now the other thing that's nice is you, if you know you're gonna need help right away, you got the twist throttle here. And the twist throttle will help you the whole way, the whole way up to as fast as it can go, which is about 28. So no matter what pedal assist you're in, the twist throttle always works. So I'll start out with the twist throttle to help me. So you can see that one was much easier because it helped me right away. With the pedal assist, there's a little bit of a delay from when you start pedaling until it starts to help you. Oh man. Yeah, this feels way better than the other bike. <laughs> kind of floats. <laughs> now just using the twist throttle. No problem. Yeah, it's feeling good. The um, going slow, you don't notice that much difference if you're just on pretty smooth road but they're going faster over all that rocky surface. You really feel like you're floating a lot more than the other bike with that rear suspension. All right, so now we'll get back into the woods on some, uh, some more legit trails and see how it does. So yeah, you, so you can adjust the preload on these shocks. So I went full soft because we're gonna be on some rough terrain. Now I'm just using the throttle to go up this hill. <laughs> feels pretty pretty comfy pretty comfy landing yeah i'm pretty much just using the twist throttle right now just because it's easy and i am actually sitting on the seat and it feels pretty good now on a normal bike you wouldn't really be able to sit down through this rough stuff without rear suspension
Yeah, way more comfortable than the other bike, that's for sure. <laughs> Can definitely pull a wheelie. It's going pretty good. That was about 23 miles an hour. I'm gonna shift down to first gear to go up this hill. I have pedal assist on three. Pretty leisurely pedal, but the motor is helping me a good bit. I see it's at 750 watts. Here's the really rocky bit. Really rough. Definitely can feel that the back end is not shifting around nearly as much as the other bike. All right, now I'm gonna go down this really rocky hill, see how this does. <laughs> Not bad. So now I am just pedaling and using the pedal assist. Get me over those rocks. Oh, that's a rough, rough track there. Try not to hit the briars. Oh man, <laughs> that climbed right up that actually. All right guys, so now it's time to take it off some jumps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the regular Magicycle Cruiser off that is only front suspension. And then I will take the new uh, deer bike with the full suspension off so we can do a quick comparison of how they look and feel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, here we go with the full suspension. Oh my gosh. Man, I think I got more air because of the preload on the uh, the suspension. Yeah, it feels like it like popped me up. Try that again. Oh my gosh. You wanna put it up there? I'll try not to run into your car. Oh, I'll clear it. There's a decent gap here. It does look a little sketchy from here. <laughs> All right, go a little faster this time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I went further that time. Yeah, I'll move the jump back a little bit. Holy crap. Holy crap. Dude, I feel like I landed at the like in the middle of the hill. That was almost like as fast as I could go. I still let off right before. Nice and smooth. It feels good. Like the suspension gives the right amount off the jump. And yeah, you fly pretty straight, really. All right, so now we're gonna do a little speed test. So I'm gonna only be using the twist throttle to really give an accurate test. I won't be pedaling at all. And uh, they claim 28 miles an hour, so we'll see what happens. Say 29? Yeah. Wow. All right, so going down right there, I got 29.7. And then coming back through the highest I saw was 27.9. I think there's a little downhill this way, but even coming up that little hill, uh, still at 27.9 miles an hour. So I would say very accurate to what they say. Now, the great thing about this bike is you can use it in your everyday life to make things easier.
All right guys, so that is the Magicycle Deer full suspension electric bike. So overall, my impressions are I'm pretty pleased with all of the, uh, the performance and how it handled the off-road, also the jumps and the everyday activities. It was really helpful. Now again, the biggest differences here versus the Cruiser, it's got rear suspension, hydraulic brakes, a bigger battery. Overall, the quality I think is a little bit higher. And again, the main specs, we've got a 750 watt motor, we've got a 20 amp hour battery, providing for about an 80 mile range, 28 mile per hour top speed, which we did just test, and I got it up to about 29 miles per hour on just the twist throttle. It's got seven levels of pedal assist. The hydraulic brakes do feel really nice in practice. You don't need to squeeze them quite as hard as the cable and you get a little bit better feedback on them. And I would say the rear suspension is super nice to have, especially on all those bumpy trails. It's a lot easier on you and it's a lot easier to stay seated. You don't have to stand up quite as much going over all the rough stuff. And they have provided me a coupon code for you guys, so I'll list that down below to get a discount if you are interested in buying one of these. All right, so that's gonna be it for today, guys. Like I said, really pleased with this Magicycle. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys wanna see next time. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Magicycle.